Hey y'all, welcome to lesson three, two shuttle techniques. And in this lesson, in this video, you're going to learn how to weave slits and how to weave a window. Woven slits. Woven slits, they can be useful as a decorative element or a functional feature of an item. For example, a woven slit it can in a scarf could help with tying and styling on a poncho or a shawl. They could be used to make buttonholes. All right, what you're going to need, you're going to need two shuttles wound with either the same or different colors of yarn of the same weight. You want to decide where you want your slit to start. Then you're going to open the shed. You're going to weave with the main shuttle to the desired spot, and you're going to stop and bring that shuttle out of the cloth. Next up, with that secondary shuttle, you want to weave toward the start of the slit, leaving a tail to tuck in on the next pick. You're going to beat and then you're going to chain sheds. Then you're going to weave away from the slit and bring the shuttles out of the edge of the cloth. And remember to tuck in that tail of the yarn that you just added on. You're going to continue going back and forth until the slit is the desired length. On a pick, when the main color could go across the width, weave across and resume weaving as usual. Now, here's something to watch for. I want you to be careful not to accidentally cross the threads before you're ready to close your slit. And I also want you to make sure that you're catching the warp threads in each pass. Sometimes you can skip a warp thread or two. Just be careful and make sure you're catching everyone as you're going back and forth. All right, so you're going to find an over my shoulder video of me weaving after this lesson. It's going to be labeled woven slits. Now, next up, we have woven windows. All right, a woven window is more of a decorative technique um, and you would probably want to use it on something like a wall hanging, something that's not going to get a lot of use because you don't want someone to accidentally pull one of those exposed warp threads. What you're going to need, you're going to need, again, pretty much the same. You're going to need two shuttles wound with the same or different color yarns of the same weight. You're going to decide where you want your window to be. So you see that I've left a bit of a space between the beginning and the ending of this space where I'm going to put my little window. You're going to open your shed. You're going to weave with the main shuttle um, to the desired spot and you're going to stop on the first side and bring the shuttle out of the cloth. With the second shuttle you're going to skip over the desired number of warp threads then continue weaving leaving a tail to tuck in on the next pick you're going to beat and then change sheds continue weaving with both shuttles on the main pick when the yarn could go across the width weave across and resume weaving as usual now as in everything else, you're going to find an over my shoulder video of me weaving after this lesson. It will be labeled, what do you think? Woven windows. All right, y'all. So in this lesson, you learned how to weave slits, how to weave a window. Take action now. Weave along with me or after me as I demonstrate woven slits and woven windows. If you haven't already, go ahead and download that game board. And then consider joining my weaving community. You know, you can, you can do this by yourself, but it's always so much fun to do this with other people who are on the journey with you. You can find out more information about this at www.myweavingcommunity.com forward slash join. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up on this video. If you enjoyed it, leave me a comment. Subscribe to this channel. I mean, why aren't you subscribed already? You're getting, you're getting a lot of information. Um, 
yeah, this is, this is a resource and I'm, I'm happy to do it, but subscribe. It really helps me help others in their weaving journey. And hopefully it'll help you too. Ring that notification bell so you know when I put up more videos and share this video, you'd be surprised at someone who is interested in learning how to do this. In the next lesson, you're going to learn how to add raya knots to your weaving, how to weave sumac, and how to weave double sumac. So I'll see you in that next video. Bye.